Hello. So we are back. The last day of the year. Yeah, the last day of 2022. About four o'clock. And I believe we can still do one more job this year. Okay. So we have a customer here with a nice laptop. This is quite nice. I mean, it is very solid. Uh, i7. Lenovo. Okay. I see now Lenovo. So it's i7 10 gen. This is a new one. Okay. The problem with this one, uh, the power button, pressing the power button, and nothing happened. We have no, oh, sorry, it is coming on. It's coming on and goes off. And no light. By same picture. Okay, that's weird. That's weird. Let, let me see what the customer was saying about this job. One second. Laptop won't turn on, and it's not being charged by by the the power supply. It have been tested with a new charger, and does or doesn't charge on any USB C port. The charging indicator doesn't light at, at, at all. Yeah, so let's let me plug the charger. Okay, let me plug the charger and let's plug the USB power meter. Okay, this little device which it will tell us what's going on there. I believe we can fix it. Plug the charger and we have nothing. Plug the charger and we have nothing. And that's all. We have two USB-C ports. Okay, that's strange. Let me check with my charger. I mean, it's quite hard to trust the customer charger. Okay, so let me get my one. Good. Let me try with my one. And the laptop doesn't charge, even with my one. My charger is no good. Let me check with the USB, with the, with the, screw, with the screwdriver. No, it's working. Yeah, so my charger is fine. What about the customer charger? The customer charger is fine. Let me see. So the customer charger it is fine, it is displaying, but not on the laptop. Nothing, it's just dead. But I see picture, like I press the power button and I see picture. Like for a few seconds, yeah, one, two seconds was a I seen a picture on the screen. That's strange. Because the IO chip on those days, on especially on these laptops, is controlling the charging, yeah. Is communicating with the charging uh, management chip or the power management chip. Sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's up, open this laptop quickly. Has a protective case. Very nice way to protect the laptop. Okay. Let me grab a screwdriver. One screw is missing. Possible that someone open. But look what we have there. You see that small hole? You see that small can be the reset hole or the BIOS. It looks like on the the you know to access the BIOS. Yeah, it's for the BIOS. I was thinking is to reset the laptop because I really want to do uh EC chip reset. I really want to do it. So we know the laptop is kind of fine because I seen the picture like a few seconds. I seen the picture was on the screen. So the only issue can be the input, the power input uh, circuit. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Can we help this customer? 
this year. I mean, that's the idea, yeah, this year. Okay, let's open the laptop quickly. Hopefully, there are no screws here. Let's try to help the customer. Plastic clips. There are plastic clips everywhere. I think this laptop has been opened before. That's what I think. I can see some marks, like here, you see. Probably you can't. Yeah. Okay, so the back cover is off. Wow, look at those laptops. So this is a new one, like a small board, like a uh, like a tablet board. Two fans, BIOS battery. Okay, let's let's do some basic thing, yeah, like unplug the battery. Unplug the BIOS battery, but I don't want to unplug the BIOS battery. Let's unplug this. Because uh, if you are um, we are unplugging the BIOS battery and we have some big capacitor on that board. I just want to be sure the BIOS is getting reset, yeah? Good. It's nice. It's nice because they use the space for the battery. So look at the battery. It's not like, you see, we've seen in the past. You have a small battery and have, you have a small battery and then here you have some metals, like heavy metals to make the laptop, you know, uh, feel heavy. Here you have the IO chip. You can see it's a small Lenovo chip. IO chip. Here we have a BIOS chip. Power supplies, M2 drive, power supplies. Huh, I think I saw, I seen this before. We have a video fixing something like that. And I believe the, 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 the power management chip is under the Wi-Fi. Let's have a look. I'm pretty sure that chip, because I was, I was looking last time. I, where is that chip? Where is the power management chip? Let's have a look. Now look, it's a seal there. It's here. So check there. You see, that one is the power management chip, which is insane. They hide the chip here. And there is another BIOS chip. No, it's not a MOSFET. It's a BIOS chip. Or a memory chip. Let's put this back. Yeah, I remember. So I did fix this model before. With the exactly same problem, was not charging and was a power, power management chip problem. So I'm curious, you know, I'm curious. So probably this was already reset. So most likely we have an issue here, not just uh, a BIOS re reset. Okay, let me plug the charger. So we have the charger, and it's still not working, you can see it's not working, like it's dead, it's no light, it's not even speaking with my laptop. Nothing, okay. So the first step is to check the power management chip, it's, it's no other way. Most likely the power management chip is dead. So we have to check that. Can be like a common fault because this is not, not the first one which I found it the exactly same fault, but exactly. So I'll plug the charger here. Let's get a microscope and uh, get into the details here. Yeah? Yeah, so like how I said, <clears throat> just wait for the microscope. Okay, you can see that's a windbound uh, memory. And here we have a TP. I don't remember if it's this TPS. I, I'm possible to be wrong. Or this, yeah. We have one chip for one port and the second chip for another port. And can be one of those chips. No, no, can't be. You know, you cannot have two chips burned. 
that's you know that's that's too big a coincidence so all what we can have burn is this one okay let me grab the multimeter and let's check if we if the five volts is getting into the chip do we have five because if we have five volts it's clear this chip is dead Yeah, here we have nothing. Here we have 3.2 volts, you can see on the screen. Here nothing. Here we have 2 volts, okay. Okay, here the, 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 the voltage is jumping. Now, a jumping voltage is telling me a different story. Okay, a jumping voltage is a power supply which is trying to start but the load is taking, it's, 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 it, the resistance of the load is too low. That means it's taking too much current and the chip, it will shut down the power rail. But that doesn't mean actually the chip is faulty, yeah? That doesn't mean the chip is, uh, is good. Hmm. That's strange. On this uh, memory chip, we have 3.2 volts. Okay, you know what? Let me unplug the battery, okay? And if I unplug the battery, and that's crazy. If I unplug the battery, actually I get some reading and it's switching off. Exactly when it's switching the voltage, so check that, it's 5 volts, and then when it's switching the voltage, it's shutting down. Hmm. Okay, that's strange. That's weird. Let's check on the other USB C. Same story on the other USB C. I think it's time for the thermal camera. Just to confirm our story, like uh I still believe this chip is faulty. I still believe this chip is faulty because I see picture on the screen. So if we see picture on the screen, that means the board very possible to be good. And now we have the voltage is stable, five volts. Wow. How about here? Here is still. Uh... Well, what's there? What is there? What is there? So check how that chip is pulsing, like, like it's alive. You can see? Remember when I told you jumping voltage means, you know, uh, power supply which is restarting? So there we have something, yeah? It's exactly... Yeah, under the... I'm not sure, like, we have like 40, 47, 46, so what's the temperature, 44? Huh? You know what, I don't even think it's on this side of the board. So it's exactly between the, the charging ports here. And no, it's not that black thingy, because it's a little bit here. But pretty strange. Oh, so what do you think is the problem on this board? You think it's on this side? Let's have a look. Anyway, 40 degrees, we should see this. We should see it with alcohol, yeah? So the heat, it's about here and maybe here. This is a seal, okay, over a screw. Okay, I got it, I got it. Here is a screw, okay. Let's use a little bit of alcohol. Is 
is that cheap? Look at that cheap, how he's pulsing. That's crazy. I'm not sure if you can see. You can see how the alcohol is moving on the chip. It's like it's alive. It's like having a heart. You can see? This chip has a heart. Insane. Okay. Good. That's good. Okay, let's see what we have there. So we have the multimeter. Now the next step is to identify the what that chip is doing. Yeah. So basically, I want to know what it's doing. So what do we have? On this possible to be input, and we have nothing. One second. This should be an input or ground. In here we have nothing. Okay, but uh, I don't understand why on the second chip, on the second USB, it's always on. Anyone knows? Why on the second chip, it's always on? Same problem? Is the next chip so look if I plug the charger there it's another chip you can see and maybe you can see from here one second let's go be again uh, under the microscope so looks like it's this one yeah let's get some alcohol so check that chip it's like it's beating like has a heartbeat like it's alive. Probably that's how they do the laptops on those days with the artificial intelligence. Looks like it's alive. Okay, so having two short, two uh, faulty chips, this is nearly impossible. Okay, it's nearly impossible. So most likely those chips, yeah, they are outputting the voltage somewhere. And uh, that somewhere is shorted. Let me draw the board. I mean, I'm not saying it's shorter, I'm saying uh, it's taking a lot of current and most likely it's the power management chip, most likely. Okay, so let's see what, how those chips are working. So they are working with the input of, of nothing, here is nothing. Okay, that's the multimeter, sorry. And here, what do we have here? Here we have nothing. So how this chip is alive if here we have nothing and here we have nothing. I mean, that's pretty weird, you don't think? Hmm? Oh, sorry, I think it's one pin here. Yeah, here we have five volts, you can see on the screen. So this is a five volts. So this is the main power rail, it's supposed to be 90 volts, and probably here is the output. So check here, this output yeah, goes to this chip and to this chip. So I'm pretty curious to see what is happening here. Okay, so I'll unplug the charger, and I will come with my power supply, 3 volts. 3 volts is fine, it's not really important. Yeah. So with the power here, we have like 1.3 amps. I mean, you think this is a test point, like a ground test point? Probably not, you know, they are not doing test points on ground to disconnect the ground. So this power rail is shorted. You can see it's 1.3 amps. Now, what is shorted? Now, if I will say it, you'll say, sorry, I don't believe you. You're a dodgy guy. How that chip can be faulty? I can bet that chip is faulty, yeah? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe something else. But let's test it. So I'll connect the ground again. Ground. 
Uh, where should I put the ground? Uh, hopefully this is ground. Okay, let's see. In here. Yeah, short it. Okay, let's get the let's get the thermal camera. Let's get the thermal camera. Now let's see what's going on here. And I can't see anything hot. I can't see anything hot. Can sorting be wrong? Can be. I can be wrong. And the last day of the year? That's new. Wait, wait, wait. The resistance is very low, yeah? Okay, let's put some current, yeah? Let's raise the current. Yeah, 3 amps. Even 3 amps, the resistance is quite low. Okay, let's see with 3 amps. What's going on here? With 3 amps, can we spot anything? No, I can't spot anything. Why the resistance? I mean, this looks like ground. I mean, you see you see the voltage is getting dropped to like with 3 amps, it's getting dropped to like 0 0.5 volts. This is like ground. I mean, whatever is shorted here, the short is very has a very low resistance. Yeah, let us raise the current. 5 amps. 5 amps, I have 1.2 volts. Can I see something with 5 amps? No. Oh, sorry. What is there? There is some light. Okay, sorry. Let me let me lower the current. Let me lower the current. Let's go down to 3 amps, yeah? What is there? So you have the coil. And here somewhere, it's a freaking capacitor. I can't believe. That's sick. That's crazy. This is a new laptop. This is a new one. So let's have a look. Let's come with some alcohol. Here. I believe here. So I'll come with the current on, off. So check that capacitor, this, this, the second one, yeah? So power, power on. Look how quickly it's getting evaporated, that capacitor. This is crazy. Okay, let's take that capacitor out. I didn't expect that. I mean, you know, this is a 10 gen. This is like two years old. They are still uh, using dodgy capacitors. I mean, it's Lenovo, you know, uh, I mean, uh, what we can expect from Lenovo? What we can expect? Okay. <clears throat> now, we can check the capacitor with the multimeter. So let's see. Beeping. Can you hear the beep? So the capacitor is shorted and has 0 0.0 ohm, uh, 4 ohms. I mean it's shorted. <clears throat> so 
So this desktop should be working now. Yeah, probably. Of course, I'll replace the capacitor. But let's test it to be sure, you know. Let's just test it because we can have a surprise. Like, um, to have like a second fold. Can be. Can be. All I want to see if the laptop is working and is charging. It's charging. That's the that's the idea. Okay, Wi-Fi card. All good. <coughs> We plug in the battery, plug in the charger, and the laptop is taking 1.1 amps. You can see on the screen 1.1 amps, 20 volts, power button. The fan is spinning, and we have picture. And is loading the windows, and I don't want to see a password there or a login detail. Okay, so we have we have picture on the on the screen. The laptop is working fine. I believe it's Windows 11, and the charger is taking 1.4 amps. You can see. 1.3 amps okay so the laptop is working the fault was quite simple you know like you know shorter shorter capacitor always happened okay i will stop here i will say uh you know what thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video like always and i wish you to have a happy new year bye